Warriors. This is um, Prince of Persia. So what what happened is is my friend found this while he was going through the Xbox store, and the weird thing is it turns out this isn't like the description of the game says it's a print. I'm not gonna click more because it might kick me out of the game. Also, the game's broken. If you press the B button, it just crashes. But apparently, it, the description claims that it's a mod of Prince of Persia 1998 and Prince of Persia Shadows. Hold on, I'm looking this up on Wikipedia. Hold on. Um, yeah. Wup.com, and it was a fan, fan like ROM hack of the Shadow and the Flame. So it's like. A f I did just want to clear things up, which is why I'm cutting it here. Just want to say that uh, Hiam Grebnov is the actual creator of it. I assume, because when you go to his website, it says Isometry Studios, which is the same thing listed on the Microsoft page. I think I mentioned this later in the video, but th that's my bad. Uh, it's not pirated. It is made by them. Just to uh, make things clear. My friend found this while he was going through the Xbox store. And the weird thing is, it turns out this isn't like... The description of the game says it's a print... I'm not going to click more because it might kick me out of the game. Also, the game's broken. If you press the B button, it just crashes. But... Apparently, it, it, the description claims that it's a mod of Prince of Persia 1998 and Prince of Persia Shadows. Hold on, I'm looking this up on Wikipedia. Hold on. Um, yeah. Uh, Shadow in the Flame. What it actually is, is it was this, this thing from popwop.com. And it was a fan, fan, like, ROM hack of the Shadow in the Flame. So it's like a fan mod that was pirated and uploaded to Xbox. So it's it's a pirated game, apparently. I just found that to be kind of interesting that they would allow that. So, I made a Twitch account like two minutes ago with the intent of just seeing if I could just play it. I wanted to see how long it takes, because apparently there's a time limit in this. It's kind of crazy. Thought it'd be one of the worst games I've ever seen. Found some people who really Because I was using it for a Minecraft curse board, whatever that is. But, um, apparently they stopped support for that. So I just started using the FTP launcher. There's like a time limit on how long it takes to beat. It starts flashing once you get to 180 minutes. It'll be like, bro, you gotta hurry up. And I just found that really stupid. <laughs> And again, of course, this game is very unpolished and it's very buggy because this is a fan game. It's not even an official Prince of Persia game. It's not made by Ubisoft. And the actual makers of the game are not the people that are listed on the Microsoft Store. It, it was stolen or something. Because when you go to popoa.com, you see Prince of Persia 2.5. It doesn't say that company's name, so I think somebody random just downloaded it. Yeah, because right here it says, check out Prince of Persia 2.5, the castle, by Ian Rebnob. It says, this is a fan-made sequel to the original DOS 1989 and 
1993 games. Uh, no, it shows it on the Microsoft Store. Okay, so maybe the guy who made the ROM hack published it himself? Maybe that's his company, then. That could be entirely true. The site does say copyright 2021, so I guess they're still keeping it up to date. Yeah, so I think it is done. I think it was uploaded by the guy who made the fan. I just don't get the why he said that it was a sequel to the original DOS 1989 and 1993 games. Because it's a remake of the 1993 but it's not a remake of the 1989 game. I know that because, like, it's completely different gameplay. It's it's just like the Shadow of the Flame. In fact, when I was looking through images, I couldn't tell the difference because they're the same game engine, you know? Okay, can, can finally play it. Didn't work. The, ga the game is really, really weird. It's... Apparently right here you're supposed to fall again to level 2. Like there's nothing else you can do. Wait, there is something else I can do. Usually you just fall into level 2. Oh, never mind. You have to fall. You have to. Let's go into level 2 then, I guess. Oh, no, no, we don't take damage, okay. So I remember this took me so long to figure out, but what you actually have to do is you have to... I forgot what to do. So... Maybe I'll just figure it out. Right here, you gotta jump near the edge. The jump controls are terrible. So, you gotta get near the edge... Okay. It's literally like a rage game. I don't know, bro. Okay, I think I remember the controls, so you gotta turn. What? What are the controls? There was a way to grab onto the edge, I know there was. Hold down, that's what you gotta do. And then what do I do here? I can't press anything. Press A? There we go. That's what I do. Press... Press an A and nothing's happening. Okay. Oh! Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you gotta press A after you get down. that ledge, I guess that's not a thing you can do. Oh, come on. You should be able to. I feel like... Oh, yeah, I forgot to look the other way. Now, A. Well, nay, nothing's happening. And maybe you gotta hold down for a while to drop. Are you confused? Yeah, the game closes if you press me, which is Apparently, Y is to do like a, a long jump and then you press up to do a, a little hop. Yeah, 
press Y? Okay, that's what you do, you press Y. Never mind, you... Button mash? I, I guess that's how you get down, you just button mash. Oh, you let go of RT to drop. Okay, that makes more sense. Then let go of RT. RT. Okay. Sneak over here. What? Okay. Uh, this time. No. This one that broke, isn't it? He just has like a little bit of a nose. It's like the guy that stole everyone's face. I just don't get it. I just, uh, why is he even here? Oh, yeah, I forgot to watch the dialogue. Uh, maybe I gotta hold left as he jumps. too fast and once you start a run like right there i that was me holding the joystick for a second once you start a run you literally can't stop it it's unforgiving controls just have been extremely revolutionary back in the day not the game but like the original shadow of whatever game because I already have help. And I made it to level 3, so...
Picasso. What is it called? Okay, I hope this doesn't end the stream time left for me. I'm gonna hope this doesn't. I'm gonna open a mix with it. I don't think it did. A crystal? The crystal? Yeah, it doesn't show it. They don't know what the crystal thing is. Even though I, I saw if you go back that way, I'm pretty sure you just fall to your death. There's nothing. There's that weird ghost thing. If you walk into that ghost of But it doesn't kill you. It's weird. Wait, is there a secret room? Oh no, that's just bad game. Again, I've played a bit of level 3, but I gave up because I couldn't beat it. Um... I just realized that that recording bar shows up. Sunlight, maybe the sunlight's burning him. Wait, that wouldn't make any sense. Some magnifying glass, it's not like Toy Story. Let's see. So I know this part where there's a pressure plate on the right that activates the gate on the left. See, the one thing I was wondering is is that potion more important? Because I'm pretty sure it looks different than the rest. Like, maybe I'm wrong. pressure plate right here, you hit it, and it activates the gate over here. Ah, oh, no, I can't. I, I don't even know, I'm not going to try to risk it, because I don't think it's worth it. Um, but I think the goal is, and I might be wrong, this might not be the goal. This gate right here, so the goal might be to get past this one. Was definitely important. Using an extra one. Exploring has a time limit. You want to take your time, you know, it's more fun that way. Oh, I guess I missed out on that extra health, but. I'm not gonna go for all the extra. Oh, 
power up. Actually, I think that is the exit, so before we do that, let's check up here. Okay, so there's nothing up there. You can't get up there. So that, that is the exit then. Pressure plate down here if we can dodge the evil um, spike trap thing. Oh, was Seven. Down. up here make of that. Maybe I need the extra health to survive the pressure. Maybe that's the
Why as I ran to the end, but just a lift to stop and then it's just it's not good. Like right now they can be wrong and jump, but wait. I'll be running and then jump. <gasps> okay. I think to get past that spike I was meant to run. Sword, I won't even be able to use it. I, I can't press the attack button. Unless I rebind my controller, but even if I did, the B button probably would still crash it. Probably has nothing to do with the B button itself. Just like what it does. If I do one more step. Okay, I can't do one more step. Maybe 
I was going to do that whole run jump thing. Okay, here. I can try it. I can try it. Again, it always okay. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you can't do a spin jump. There's not enough room. Hold on. I'm gonna test it against this wall. Can you, is there enough space to spin jump? I'm pressing left and I can't get out. Am I stuck in a wall?
the crystal castle the crystal castle okay so there is a search term people have searched it i found this fan-made creators it made a very well epic fail control so somebody else has played it let me see they're on level two and they couldn't beat level two Victoria, Prince of Persia, 1988-1992. It's one of the hardest game ever, but I can't win. If you're on Xbox, press RT. Computer and Windows working good. I can play this game. So the last boss fight. What? Oh, yeah, I guess you probably could get this game on PC off of that website. So there's like literally there is one video that acknowledges this game. The other ones are talking about the 1983 Atari game called Crystal Castles. This was also filmed on Xbox though, so. Virus site. Yeah, it's Mentrio Studios has their entire thing. Release the level editor? They're gonna make one? They're gonna make a level editor. That's cool. I find it weird though that. I don't know how to end it. <laughs> Gotta try to figure it out. 